guys and not so happy Wednesday so as you may or may not have noticed I don't have an intro for this video and that is because today's video is going to be a little bit more serious and I didn't want to create a intro with all the happy stuff and the music because obviously this topic isn't a happy topic so I guess let's just get started with my story today I wanted to talk about suicide because I noticed that a lot of people have really negative mean or harsh uh, opinions about this and i want i just wanted to clear things up and hopefully some people will learn from my video or other people will be like yeah i know what you mean i am experiencing the same stuff as as you are um so i will just tell my story and then i hope you will understand what i mean so you know how you can travel with the train and sometimes your train will delay and they will tell you why the train delayed. So sometimes you will hear, uh, at least in my country, literally translated, what they say is the train got in touch with the person. But obviously they mean uh, someone jumped in front of the train. And every time I hear something like this or see something like this on the news, it just really gets to me. Because can you imagine someone being so desperate, so unhappy that they don't see another um another way to how do you say that like they don't think life is for them anymore they just really can't handle it and it will take them to the point where they actually take the step to jump in front of a train like can you even imagine can you imagine that they left behind their mother, father, sister, brother, whoever, friends and stuff like that and that's just really really like I might not even know the person but it will still really get to me but when you hear that you know your train delays and the train got in touch with the person there are also people who will be like oh my god like are you for real couldn't he do this at home with some pills and let us just you know don't don't get us involved in the situation because now we are going to be 30 minutes late to our you know wherever they have to go and i'm just sitting there like bro are you for real like what what is your problem like someone literally someone's life ended and you are just bothered because you are going to be late like it's someone's life and that is so much more important than whatever appointment you have or may have and i just think that is so disrespectful to say something like that when you just heard that someone jumped in front of a train like someone really got to the point in their life that they don't think life is for them anymore that they don't want to live anymore that they are really willing to give up everything in their life just to no, I guess be happier. I guess people, I think when people do that, they think they are going to be happier that way. To say something like, couldn't he have done it at home? That is just the most disrespectful thing I have ever heard. Like, don't ever say that. If you are a person like that, please just think before you speak because suicide isn't a joke. It's such a serious topic such a big thing in life did you know that suicide is the number one death cause under teenagers like i read this somewhere in a school book or something so i guess it's really trustable this information can you imagine the number one death cause like that is really really serious and i just want to say so much but i can't seem to get into words but i just really want to say that it really really bothers me when someone is so disrespectful around this topic how can you say such mean stuff about these kind of topics like i can understand that for some people who are not going through the same thing it's weird to understand how someone can feel that way and someone can actually want to end their life because it's it's like something it's like a mental men, mental disorder and not everyone has it, obviously. So if you don't have it, I can imagine that it might be hard to understand it and to place yourself in the other person. But I know there are also a lot of people who don't have it and can still imagine what it's like and still be very respectful 
uh, about it so please be that person please be the person who is just very respectful to other people these kind of things are not a joke they are for real they are it's real life can you imagine feeling that way can you imagine having that those thoughts can you imagine being there in the person's shoes and actually taking that jump or taking those pills or grabbing the rope or it's just so hard to understand that people can actually be so heartless on topics like this but that just might be because i'm a very sensitive person i guess if it comes to topics like this if you come to other people being very unhappy i just as you may already know i just really want everyone to be very happy but i guess that's that's just something that really it's impossible and to hear stories about these topics that just makes me really sad so that's why i think it really gets to me if i hear that someone has got in touch with the train you know um so please, I just wanted to say actually for this video that if you are a person like that, please think before you speak because it's very disrespectful. Can you, can you just for a second think about all the things that person might have gone through? Imagine if it was someone you know, if it was a friend of yours, if it was a family uh, of yours, like if it was your sibling, if it was your parent, if it just... Try to place yourself in the other person and just try to not be so harsh about it because obviously you don't know anything about the subject otherwise you wouldn't be so rude about it and if you don't know anything about the subject I think it's best to just don't say anything. Don't let your negative opinion be heard by other people because nobody wants to hear it. I'm not trying to be like really mean or anything but i just think these negative opinions about it just don't make the world a better place so you better not do it girl all right okay <laughs> you know i think i am done i said what i wanted to say and i hope i really really hope that my video will at least change one person's opinion or one person's actions because that's really all I want to do, that's really all I'm trying to achieve with this video, just to educate people a little bit and to make this world a more positive place, really. That's really all. So I guess I'm just going to end this very negative and sad video subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos of me which will obviously be more happier video because i love to do happy stuff and not sad stuff so i will see you guys in the next video i love you and stay creepy